Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. I'm making a pot roast. I have a two pound pot roast. I'm going to put some red potatoes, some carrots, an onion. This is beef broth, one can, it's 14 ounces. And I'm gonna use this to season it up along with some salt and pepper. Slow cooker, hearty beef stew. That's gonna be most of my seasoning. I'm gonna cook it in a ninja foodie. Pressure cook, and it's only gonna take me one hour. This ninja foodie is pretty interesting. It's a pressure cooker, it's an air fryer, it does a lot of different things. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's prep all this up. First things first, here's my ninja foodie. Okay, so it has this big container in here, along with this. We're not gonna use this. I'm just going to use this part. It's the same as a Dutch oven. A Dutch oven you put over your stove top. So I'm going to turn it on. Right here it says sear saute. So I'm going to press that. It's going to be on high. It is the same thing as turning on your stove and putting it on a medium. It's going to start to get hot in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, about two tablespoons. And that's gonna to start to get hot. It's the same as like your stove top. Very, very interesting. So sear, it's on, it's doing its thing. Let's prepare our meat. This is my two pound roast and all I'm gonna do is just add some salt and pepper. Just a good amount of salt and pepper on both sides. Now we're waiting for our Ninja Foodie to get hot. And it just popped. This is hot, okay? So, I'm going to sear this for five, four to five minutes on each side. So I have a splatter screen, and I'm just like, just like I would stove top, I'm covering it. Okay, so while my meat is searing, I'm gonna cut up an onion in fours. I have carrots, I'm, I'm peeling my carrots. I'm leaving my carrots in big pieces, okay? Kind of like this, just good sized pieces. And my red potatoes are not, they're not real small, but I'm gonna cut them in half. So they're big chunks like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my can of beef broth to my little container and I'm going to add my seasoning. So this is a seasoning to make beef stew. I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to pour it all over my meat. So I turned it off and the heat is lowering it's uh, cooling off. So let me show you. See my beautiful meat? It's seared on both sides. Okay, so now we're gonna start adding all of our other goodies. Okay, so I added my veggies, my potatoes, my carrots, and my onion. Here's my broth with my seasoning packet. Okay, so I'm just gonna add that. That's gonna give a lot of flavor. I get the rest of this. The rest of this. Don't wanna miss out on any flavor. So let me tell you how this works, okay? I have everything inside my pressure cooker. Now this is the pressure cooker lid. This is for air fry. It comes with two lids. This is really easy to put on. Okay, you just, you put it on, see that little arrow, there's a lock right here, it just 
flex like that okay so you're pressing pressure cook it says hi so now I'm gonna say the time so I'm gonna go oops I'm gonna go one hour and then it has these two this thing right here okay it says vent and it says seal you got to make sure it's over here on the seal part right here and there's a little button right here okay that's the venting part it's down right now it's going to take some time to come up to pressure so right here when I press start now it starts the whole circling thing. That means right here, it's going, the pressure is going to start building. It takes about 10 minutes for that to happen. Meanwhile, it's cooking. It's getting slowly, slowly, slowly. The pressure is building and it's starting to cook. So it'll go for one hour. And we're going to have really tender roast beef. Now, when you cook roast beef in a Dutch oven stovetop, it will take you a very minimum of two and a half hours. When you slow cook it in a, in a crock pot, at the minimum, it'll take you four hours. Pressure cooking it in the Ninja Foodie is going to be one hour. That's a big difference. I was impressed by that. It has come up to pressure and this little button has jumped up. That means it's completely up to pressure. So when it's completely up to pressure, now it starts to count down. So it's cooking. We're almost finished one hour mark and it's done. Okay, so what's gonna start happening now, it starts to count upwards and it goes to keep warm right here. And what that means, it's the pressure is starting to go down and they advise you to wait five minutes for the pressure to go down before you vent and we're going to vent it from the back so we're going to wait five minutes so we're coming up upon the five minute mark they want you to allow the pressure to go down naturally just to release its pressure naturally for five minutes so after the five minutes now we're going to help it along Right here, you can see this little button is up because the pressure is up. So now, this thing right here, we're going to move it to the other side. Bring it up like that, and it's allowing the vent. Now it's venting. I want to bring this so that you can see. Can you see the vent? All the air coming out. This is my splatter screen. I wanted you get to, I wanted you guys to be able to see the the air coming out, all the pressure, the steam. So it'll vent, it'll vent for a few minutes, and when it stops making this noise, that's when we can open it up and see what's inside. Did you see that? It dropped. Now it's completely vented. And we can open this up. So all, all I'm going to do is, now it's going to be really hot in there. So they advise to open it up with this facing the wall so that the steam doesn't go into your face. And it looks beautiful in there. Check this out. Looks really good. Okay, it's cooked, but is it tender? Check this out. Wow, look at that. You guys got to realize, pot roast takes a long time to cook. I did this in one hour. I can't believe it. Let me plate it up. And here it is. Is this gorgeous or what? One hour and I have this beautiful, beautiful meal. Look at this. And it is, now that's tender. One hour of cook time. My potatoes, my carrots, pretty good. My son said, I'm going to buy you a Ninja Foodie. You need to start learning how to make pressure cooker meals. 
And boy, I'm glad he did. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.